I don't feel like I should be a hero of hope. I feel like every day I come to school and I just do my job and try to reach as many students as possible. I feel like when I come to school that I am an open door for students. Students can come to me for anything that they need. I feel like that's just part of my job to give those kids a welcoming place to come. I think Ms. Thompson was most likely chosen to be the hero of hope because she really does do a lot for not only the FFA but for uh, GISD in general and like she goes above and beyond just your average teacher I would say. She's always there for us and helps us with anything we need in any really facet of life or school. It doesn't really matter. She's always there for us when we need somebody. I see her helping out kids a lot. Um, no matter what, she will drop anything down to go help somebody. She's my hero of hope for sure because I know I could come to her with anything and she would know exactly what to do and exactly how to help me. She's really, really wise and she's, she always knows what to say and I came in at the beginning of October and she immediately asked me, Jordan, what's wrong? And I said, well, Ms. Thompson, my dad just got deployed. And she was the first one there with like, okay, this is happening and that's okay and it's all gonna be fine. One day when I grow up, I wanna own my own radio station and whenever I got into high school, I was pretty shy when it came to talking to people I didn't know, but Ms. Thompson has helped break me out of my shell and now I can talk to just about anybody about anything. I would say as a person, she always gives me these tasks and she always trusts me to do them correctly and it just, that grows me. Like that trust that she gives to me so freely, it really does grow me as a person. We do learn a lot of responsibility in here by feeding the quail, making sure their pens are clean, and making sure you don't overfill the aquaponics system because the whole lab will overflow and flood. She takes these kids all over, it seems like all over the state. They've gone to Abilene, they've gone to San Antonio, Houston. They go, they go all over and I never worry about where you know, my kids are what they're doing with her because I know that she would take care of them and all of her students just like she would her own. So I think Ms. Thompson makes an excellent uh, selection for the, the uh, hero of hope here at GISD because she really exudes kind of the, the, the core of what we want to see from a teacher. Um, she's not only uh, e extremely strong when it comes from a, an instructional base, uh, she's very diverse in kind of her strategies at how she uh, instructs students and connects with them on a deeper level. Um, we turn our ag department kind of into a small family and a lot of kids are uh, welcomed into that kind of family. Um, Ms. Thompson also does a tremendous amount of work kind of outside of the regular school hours and the regular school scope of what you would see a teacher normally do. Um, and I think to be a hero of hope you kind of have to go above and beyond um, the basic or the bare minimum and she does that on a daily basis 365 days a year. Honestly I feel like all of the hard work that I put in and hours of work that I put in, I'm glad to see that it doesn't go unnoticed. So I'm very thankful for a district that I work in that recognizes us individuals for their hard work.